Happy New Year, everybody. Can you believe it's 2023? I can't. Well, I hope I didn't scare you there. Here I am. Camera once again. This is St. Jerome of Crypto Experiences bringing yet another crypto experience, and it is January 1st of 2023. I don't know about you, but how many times are you going to mess up and write on your checks 2022? What's a check? For you younger people, those are little pieces of paper where we say, hey, we're going to write our name on this and write amount of money. Uh, it's linked to a bank account, and you are going to get that money paid from me. Um, it's kind of like a debit card on paper. Yeah. So anyway, I haven't been podcasting for a while, and I apologize. A bit of laziness, a uh, little health issues I had, n nothing serious. Uh, I'm actually, if you can go back and compare to my very first videos, I am way thinner, and that's on purpose, than I used to be. Um, I was, mm, let's see, I was a good, lately, I've been about a good 60 pounds, a good 60 pounds heavier. So, feeling better, uh, the medical tests are better, and I'm happy about that. So, anyway, I'm here to talk about a very important thing coming up on January the third you have discovered my secret identity now i will have to slap you robin no wait this is a meme what's coming up on january the 3rd 2023 it's if it's not your uh, it's not your coins if it's not your keys a lot of people call it proof of keys um a lot of people leave their different cryptocurrencies sitting on a ex an exchange and let me tell you, uh, that's not a safe thing to do. So on this date, we we start putting these little memes out here, like the Batman meme. And he says, not your keys, not your coins, not your keys, not your coin. This is not financial advice, but I would strongly um, lay out the suggestion that, hey, maybe it's a good idea to put your private keys into a non-custodial wallet. Now, what does that mean? Uh, custodial wallet means somebody else has control of that wallet. For example, um, there's many exchanges out there, and I'm, I don't want to start naming exchanges, except there's one big exchange. I just read the day that was the fourth largest that um, there was an alleged embezzlement from that fund, uh, and lots and lots of people lost their investments in cryptocurrency. Well, then that puts a big black eye in the crypto community because everybody goes, oh, look how unsafe uh, all these cryptos are. Look how unsafe Bitcoin is. Look how unsafe uh, whatever Ethereum uh, and my, one of my favorites, Litecoin, are. They uh, they could be hacked and taken. Well, that's not true. They were laying there in exchange. And honestly, um, this one famous exchange that just got into trouble, which I will not name, um, they didn't have any Bitcoin or Litecoin on their exchange whatsoever. What? People thought they had like Bitcoin and Litecoin to uh, the most studious. Uh, Bitcoin is the big granddaddy, and it's uh, kind of like the gold of cryptocurrency. And Litecoin um, is also a very long-running coin. We're in the, our 11th year now. Um, is also, uh, it's like uh, the great uncle kind of thing, but uh, brother of uh, great granddaddy. Um, and these two are very safe, and they've been running along flawlessly. Litecoin has been going flawlessly for 11 years. Um, if you're not familiar with Litecoin, it is a fork off of Bitcoin. Uh, and the advantages I like of Litecoin is it's quicker in transactions. It's still limited. There's only going to be 84 million Litecoin versus 21 million uh, Bitcoin. Um, its blocks are bigger. When you go on the blockchain, Litecoin has, I believe, 32 megabyte blocks. And I think Bitcoin is 8 megabyte. Well, anyway, if you don't have a custodial wallet that's one that's in your possession and no one else has your private keys what's a private key a private key is like the key to your cash box you got a cash box at home and inside your custodial wallet is your your crypto um, bitcoin litecoin ethereum even dogecoin and m might i say shiba inu coins uh, or whatever's the latest thing i like theta too theta yeah, theta fuel but uh, they're sitting in your own wallet where only you can get in it. But if you give out your private keys to somebody, like in exchange, then they can come into your cash box, turn the key, and like, I don't know if Bobby, Billy, Jane, Mary are going to, or 
whatever pronoun you prefer, are going to miss their coins and they won't miss them for a while. And I now have all the coins, says the exchange. But if you have your own custodial wallet, well, then that's not going to happen because you're in control of that situation. I unfortunately, and I think I may drop this name because it involved me. I was messing around DeFi a little bit and said, like, oh, they kind of hold this little carrot in front of your face. Here you go. Here's a carrot. Oh, look at all the look at all the interest you can make. What? Yeah, just put up a couple light coins and you can get 15% interest a year, better than any bank. So anyway, I put some, uh, I put a little Litecoin, very little. Uh, I, I didn't lose too much, but I put a little bit on Voyager after recommendation of uh, a podcaster. Uh, and uh, then I experimented a little bit. I got like $25 in free Bitcoin. I think I put some uh, the Jeep out there. Again, not very much. I think 10 bucks or something wasn't very much. But then all of a sudden, uh one of the other exchanges goes bankrupt i think i can say that safe, safely it's not a surprise celsius and then lo and behold the one i got caught in voyager also going bankrupt well i heard they're restructuring and that they that binance usa may uh, take over voyager if that's the case i hope to get my crypto off let me tell you a little secret side to side here i'm going to take it out and put it in a non-custodial wallet right i'm a I, I mean, a custodial wallet. Oh, my God. No, I just gave the keys away. I'm going to own the keys to that wallet, and I'm not going to let it out. So you need to get your keys into your own personal wallet that no one else has access to. And then when you have your keys, secure those keys. Um, I always suggest to newbies to write down your your private keys, at, at your, your seed words, your private keys, at least three different on three different pieces of paper or however you're going to store it and put it in three different places. And none of those places where anybody but you or a trusted, trusted person like your, like your uh, son or daughter that you trust or your wife um, with those, uh, those keys, but don't get too crazy that you, that if you were somewhere to happen to you, that no one can get to your crypto uh, watch out on that. So anyway um, I'd say that and put it in three different places, make sure, you know, that, they're fireproof kind of thing. Uh, and then there's different, there's a lot of different wallets out there. There are wallets that you can be in charge of um, that uh, are on cell phones, that are on desktops. But you know, cell phones and desktops can get hacked kind of a user carelessness. Uh, for example, right now, going out there, there's a lot of uh, scammers sending some emails out. By the way, I'm going to change my background. Apologize, kind of being a little here or there today. Uh, I just felt like changing the background all of a sudden. So here is the exchange with your precious Bitcoin writing next to it. Uh, and the exchange says, exchanges be like, uh, hey, you fellas, you have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Would you trust this guy driving away with your Bitcoin? I wouldn't. And that's what the exchanges are like. Now, you got to get your crypto from someplace. Um, I'll, I'll say which one I use for years. I used uh, Coinbase for years and years and years. But then when we started dealing in, especially like trying to get just a little theta and we had to like swap, um, you have to swap at that point. Now you can buy it directly on things. But you had to swap for theta. So we go in there, maybe get Bitcoin or Litecoin, and we're going to, we want to try to swap it. And the coin may say, oh, you, uh, we can't let you have your coins for seven days. No oh, wait. I thought this was a wallet. It's a non-custodial wallet. You don't have control of it. And uh-oh. Yeah. And then they started getting like, oh, we don't know it's really you. Uh, you're going to have to send us 75 proofs of identity. It was getting ridiculous. So um, I had a friend. Oh my gosh, he barely got, he barely got his uh, his coins off there. And I have another, uh, I have another former student who uh, mined some Bitcoin when uh, uh, that person was a young person, and uh, just left it on there. And I I told him at a crypto meetup, well, you want you want to get your, uh, you want to get your coins off of. Uh, 
these exchanges because you could get caught on those things. So anyway, I'm not any of those. I found the best deal anymore is either to go to strike and buy in small amounts uh, and then quickly move it off of strike and into whatever custodial wallet you have. And that seems to work pretty good. Did you know on strike? And yes, I'll, I'll leave a link here and I can get credit and you can get credit for, uh, for using the strike app. Um, you can go as little as 50 cents on a purchase. Good night. So even people who are a little scared, well, you can maybe try five bucks or something and then move it right away into a non, you know, into your, uh, your, uh, wallet, right. Uh, your own personal wallet. So anyway, um, you know, my mind's wandering a bit today. I guess it's because I haven't been podcasting for a while. I was talking about scammers. There's a lot of scammers right now uh, with emails, especially it was on uh, and nothing with Exodus, nothing with Theta. But there is these scammers saying they were Exodus and they say someone is into your account. Hurry up and click on this link below and we'll help you sa uh, save your wallet. Oh, my gosh. Don't do that. Um I got, I was talking to uh, Jay, uh, Jay Snips. Uh, I'm uh, on his Patreon uh, and there's a little plug for him. And what I love about uh, Joe Snips, Jay Snips, uh, is that he gets back to you right away. And, and you know, short, concise answers. He, and, uh, and he said, watch out. Uh, a lot of scammers out there. If you're getting an email, it's a scam. And I, I go along with that too. If you're getting an email, it's a scam on that or at least it seems to be anyway so that's that was a little word of word of warning uh and one of my friends who is uh roughly my age um when that person got an email they were all shook up and it was exactly one of these scammer emails so i did a little research and said no if you do have a question um about your crypto on a non-custodial wallet um, or even even a custodial wallet you have it's a, it's an electronic one go to that page and, and and contact their support using their support uh email that's the way you do it uh, i had my email hacked a while back and i lost access to a couple things and that's, i had to i had to go right to support for each of those things and fortunately it worked out so strike is really good and another one that's really good is caleb and brown they are brokers in australia and they can handle, uh, matter of fact, they have a minimum of $2,000, I, I believe, but they can handle exchanges of, of uh, $2,000 at a pretty low percentage. If you use my link, the Caleb and Brown, then uh, it will only, it should only be 3.5% on a purchase, which is pretty good. About the cheapest you'll see on um, what the exchanges will charge for you to get crypto is about 3%. And Coinbase was that on larger amounts. I don't know what they are now. I've been on Coinbase a long time. But uh, 3.5 is pretty good. And uh, you get your own personal broker. And um, when you think about it, I mean, if you're if you're investing $2,000 and they're only charging 3, 3, you know, 3.5%, well, you know, that's like 70 bucks. And you get a personal broker, dang, you know, that's really, that's really neat. Oh, and I'll, I'll say a little brag point on them. When I did get hacked, um, they worked with me and froze my account right away. And then they, and I had to go I had to go quite through a rigmarole uh, to get back, you know, my account. But they made sure it was me. And I appreciate that. So it was really good. So anyway, so I guess uh, I've said quite a bit here today. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on here. I'll try to get on a, a lot more often. Uh, but remember, if it's not your keys, it's not your coins. Proof of keys on January 3rd, 2023. Today is January 1st, so that's only two days from now. And before I do sign off, this is a my favorite uh, non uh, where you have in charge of your wallet here, and that is a Bitcoin Um Wallet or actually ballet wallets in general. This is a special one I, I find amusing. It is um, celebrating Bitcoin Pizza Day, which is on May 20, 22nd every year. And that's when uh, the young man bought, uh, Laszlo, bought uh, two Papa Del Pizza for 10,000 Bitcoins. Like, wow, that's millions of dollars nowadays. But the way that the ballet wallet works, if you look at the outside, uh, that is your public key. You don't care if somebody sees that public key, but if you that's how you're going to get your money. And so they send you money. But then how do you go to send it? Well, 
you peel back, that's a sticker, you peel it back, and that part of your private key is behind that sticker. And then you see where it says wallet passphrase scratch off. That's the other part of your private key. Then you use the ballet phone app and then you can send that crypto anywhere you want to. That is the safest wallet there is. The cold storage wallet, There, it's not on any web. Once you have the crypto um, you uh, public key, you use that to store your, your funds. Your funds are safe. The only downside on a ballet wallet, and it isn't much, is uh, user carelessness. If you actually physically lose that card, you that uh, you lose your you lose your funds. Now they do make a Pro Series, uh, which instead of being this uh, steel color, is blue, and you get three copies of your uh, private keys, and you uh, control your private keys. You even make up your own little uh, phrase. Um, you can put those uh, in three different places, like I kind of talked about before with writing your private keys down. So that is a good idea on that. Um, they make all sorts of ballet walls. I don't want to make this go any any, uh, any longer, but they make gold-plated ones. Uh, they make the specialty one for a uh, pizza day like this. I'll probably put one more on here. Here's a gold-plated one. You can see the uh, scratch-off sticker a little bit better. Uh, the steel ones are traditionally $35. Sometimes there's sales and, and, it, and there's a discounts if you buy in uh, bulk. And uh, the gold plate ones to, uh, go for $99. And again, you can get some discounts on those too. If you use my ballet wallet um, link, then I'll get some credit in the store and you'll get a discount. So I would appreciate that. That'd be great. So anyway, this is like the best wallet to own and safeguard your keys. Well, I guess that's good. I wasn't real smooth today, but I wanted to get this out. So hope you uh, forgive me for being late. I uh, hope you forgive me for uh, kind of being a little goofy day. But anyway, it's a new year, so I will do better in this new year. So you can really help me out now by giving me a thumbs up whoop, and a like. And you have a good, happy new year. And I hope that all your dreams come true and then that you can keep your new year's resolutions i certainly will try all right goodbye and i appreciate you watching this podcast once again